Hey guys, my name is Jess. I'm Dan. And here's what's been happening in gaming today. You're rubbing off me, I'm starting to do this now. Yay, everyone do it. <laughs> Sad news for fans of Cat and her Gravity Defying, as Sony have announced they will be shutting off the online services for Gravity Rush 2 as of January next year. Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan Asia announced that as of January 19, 2018, the game's online services will be shut down, just a year after it launched. If you're wondering what you'll no longer be able to access, those features include rankings, sending and receiving challenges, treasure hunts and photo ghosts, and dusty token acquisition and rewards. As a thank you to players, Sony are increasing the rate of dusty tokens as part of an event that will last until the online services are shut down. So be sure to check that out. Yeehaw! Red Dead Redemption 2 just got a new trailer, that's why I wore this shirt. Oh, that's upset. Oh, that works! Uh, but if you are avoiding spoilers, you might want to skip this one. The new trailer gives us a look at the game's protagonist, Arthur Morgan, who is part of the Vandalin Gang. Yes, the same gang you hunt down as John Marston in Red Dead Redemption. Its charismatic leader, Dutch, also looks to be making a return, so it's pretty clear this one is a prequel. According to the official description, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the story of outlaw Arthur Morgan and the Vandalin Gang, as they rob, fight and steal their way across the vast and rugged heart of America in order to survive. Unfortunately, the trailer doesn't reveal a release date outside of Spring 2018, but you can check out the full trailer right here on GameSpot. Wait, just two seconds. Yeah. You know what we haven't heard about in like, ages? Yeah. Skyrim. Oh yeah, it has been like 48 hours, I mm -hmm. think, since mm -hmm. the last time we heard about Skyrim. What, what's happening with Skyrim, anything? Oh uh, yeah, actually it's getting a survival mode. And it's free, kind of. Ish. Not really, we'll explain. The new mode which you access via Creation Club makes the game more challenging through three main elements, hunger, fatigue and weather. According to Bethesda, as you become hungrier, your total available stamina will decrease, represented by a dark region inside the stamina bar, which will impact your ability to use most weapons. Obviously eating is the way to solve that problem, cooked foods restore your hunger meter more than uncooked food, and if you eat enough you'll gain a bonus called well fed. After a nice big meal you'll need to take a nap to combat the new fatigue element and if you don't take the time to take a load off, the effectiveness of your potions as well as stamina and magic recovery will drop off. The final element weather will require you to bundle up when it's cold, otherwise you'll be hit with a movement speed debuff and falling health meter. The cold will also affect your fingers, as your lockpicking ability will also decrease. There's a bunch of other elements to this update, such as diseases, no health regeneration and significantly reduced carry weight that you can check out in detail over on GameSpot. There is some controversy at the moment, as the mode is only free for a week once it launches, but it looks like it will then run you about 15 bucks, as you need to spend 800 Creation Club credits to buy it, which is 50 credits more than the next lowest increment of credits you can buy for $7.99 so you'll have to pick up the 1500 credit pack for $14.99. So yeah, the fact that it costs 800 Creation Club credits means if you don't have the 100 credits left over that you get granted when you join the program, then you will have to buy the 1500 pack, mm -hmm. which leaves you, if you only wanted this survival mode, then you have a bunch of credits left over, which is obviously the point. Can I spend it on horse armor? But seems, I mean, probably, but that probably costs, you know, another 50 another, more. Another, yeah, than, you, than what you have. <laughs> so then that's a big problem. But people are a little upset that this isn't like part of a free update or yeah. anything like that, that it is costing quite a bit of money. And the fact that Everyone who's been using mods already on Skyrim knows that there have been survival modes for ages that yeah. are accessible for free. Um, I mean, I think everyone expected this to kind of happen with Creation Club, and the advantage is, you know, the whole point of Creation Club mods is they're going to work seamlessly. Like Bethesda are assuring, like every mod is going to work with every other mod. They're QAing it. It's a whole process. They're getting money into the hands of the devs that they're working with, but it is still money. Let us know what you think about this one. Do you think the price justifies the uh, the work straight out of the box uh, promise that Bethesda is bringing to Creation Club? That is everything we've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for joining us as always. And do remember, if you missed anything this week, we will be back tomorrow. Dan, stop waving. It's right. I have so much left to say. We will be back tomorrow with the top five stories of uh, the entire week. I'll snuck a little wave in there. Hey guys, it is Thursday. My name's Jess. I'm Dan. And you're about to hear what's happening in the game spot news. Hear what's happening, time spot twos. So bad at it's too early. Or late. I don't know how time works.